Alright, action. Oh, is it started? Oh, God. <laughs> Not again. Okay, well, I'm Kate. I'm Isaac. <laughs> 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 I thought I was going to be a... Uh, So, you know, right now, we're going to go ahead and assume that you guys know nothing about, about this. And so our goal is to educate you guys about the kind of impact that sexuality and American advertising actually has on the U.S. and you guys as consumers. So, right here we have two examples of sexual advertising and one of a humorous one. So, most people would agree that uh, sexual ones have a little bit more um, impact just because as a society we have developed into a more sexual system. So right here these are all purely sexual and these are the ones that have the most effect because they kind of just stick into your mind. And these are far more effective than the humorous ones and because of their effectiveness they kind of mess up with other advertisements that aren't sexual, like these, and because of, the, because of the sexual advertisements, these have to be far more creative to be able to like grab your mind and kind of stick, stick in there so that they can be effective, and which this is sort of a good thing because then it makes things more creative and it doesn't have to be all sexual, but at the same time it kind of minimizes them. Um, these are some big name brands that usually do have sexual advertisements and most of these are directed towards women, but also guys, but it's more towards women. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Gucci, Gus, Versace, and the other one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, some techniques that they use is a song feel because it's kind of saying that they're better, like, when they're saying, when they have a brand, they're saying, if you wear this brand, wear snobs because we can, because we're cool, we're wearing this brand, so you should wear it. <coughs> Card stacking is basically sort of what it sounds like. You're stacking all of the good things towards your product. So all the bad things, you kind of find a way to push them under the rug. And so things like this is just saying that our product will help you uh, stay young, but it doesn't talk about how it could also reduce skin cancer and things like that. It's... So ad nauseum is when they get their logo or um, uh, that thing that they say, you know, they're, I don't know, a lot of slogan. Slogan. slogan, yeah. Um, and they just repeat it over and over and over again. So it sticks into your mind. So whenever you think of something, you think of their logo or their slogan. And usually in the sexual advertisement or in advertisements, it just says, like, they're saying, like, they're saying, like, they're saying, 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 they um, well, this is one, and it's Gucci, and obviously you can even see with their advertisement, it's automatically like all sexual, and then they do it for you, could, it could catch your attention, and it kind of keeps you wondering, and the girl's like, oh yes, now the peel, because she's like giving like a busy, and, <laughs> and here's another one, which is pretty sexual. And it's also, again, beautiful person, and it's also snob appeal because obviously the girl is pretty and she's pretty and she's like, if she's a snob, and it's because she's confident because she's very, yes. <laughs> <laughs> stuck in their head, when they're 20, they're still going to have that kind of thought process going on. Um, there's this article that 
was talking about how the during Halloween a little girl wore a brat outfit that was very skanky. And uh, this kind of shows that uh, when you start to show things like that to kids, it's going to get stuck in them. They're going to do things that when they grow up, they're going to be bad. They're going to be bad because of the same reasons. Because they want to be sexy and all things like that. And this is convenient for the company because that is so sexual. That's because obviously everyone wants to be sexy, and that's why people, that's why it's so famous. And the companies, like, since they're exploiting this, like, everywhere, more people can see it, and it's kind of repetitive, so it just kind of gets stuck in your head. So now with this presentation, you know that it, when they show all those things, it's not really what they're trying to convey to you isn't exactly what they is true. They're just giving you reasons to be pretty, which is once again like up to whoever is using the work, so they can't really tell you. Pretty. So does anybody have any questions or any things they'd like to discuss with this at all? <laughs> Did anyone think, I thought the sweaty guys might have been more involved too, but I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I have a point of view. It's just their names and logo. So if you back to me, that's what that ad nauseum too. And we'd like to thank these websites, which we just basically don't pictures and stole them. Cut the website.